Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Today I'm going to show you how to make your PC SX2 emulator completely portable. This is a two-step process, so follow along, it's really easy. The first thing we want to do is just go to the link in the description, and it'll take you to the PC SX2 website. And what we're going to want to do is download the latest nightly, so we'll hit this drop-down menu, and we're doing this for Windows. So as of this video, the current version is 1.7.5550. We'll click download. And once you have that downloaded, you will have a 7-zip file. I will link to 7-zip in the description as well. But once you have it installed, you'll right click, 7-zip, extract to. Just like that. Now what I like to do is just rename my folder PCSX2 like so and we'll open it up. Before we run anything, let's right click new text document and we're going to take everything, even the .txt, we're going to highlight it like so and you want portable.ini just like that. Are you sure you want to change it? Yes. What that's going to do is all of our files will be contained inside of this folder. So let's launch it up. Now we have a bunch of folders created. So the next thing you're going to want to do is have your PS2 BIOSes. Now I can't tell you where to get them, but a Google search will help you. So you can see inside I have all of my BIOS files. I'm going to right click on this file, 7-zip. This time I'm going to go to Extract Files. And I'm going to Browse, Desktop, PCSX2, BIOS Folder, OK, OK. There we go. So now we can set up our PCSX2. So Next. Now I've added my BIOSes, so I'm going to click Refresh List. And I'm, I'm just going to choose this one at the bottom. Next. We're going to add a games directory. So let's go back into our PCSX2 folder and create a new folder. Right click, New Folder, and let's call it Games. Just like that. Now what we can do is add a game. So I have one game in CHD format, doesn't matter your format, just like that. Then we will go to Add. It brings us right into our PCSX2 folder. We'll click Games, select Folder. Do I want to scan recursively? I don't, you might. I'm going to say no. Next. My controller is a DualShock 2, automatic mapping, and I have an Xbox One controller plugged in. Just like that. Next. Finish. So you can see here is our game. And everything is contained in this folder. Now the problem is, let's say I wanted to move it to a different folder or a different drive. So let's pretend I'm moving it to a new drive. And I move it, and I open it up. It doesn't know where our games are. So let's get into the second part of this process. We're going to close. We're going to come up inside of our PCSX2 folder, go into the INI's folder, PCSX2.ini. We're going to right click, edit, and we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom until we have game list paths equals and we just want this to say games or whatever you named your games folder file save close let's launch the emulator one more time there's our game I'll quickly launch it here There we go. Close. Yes. 
And now what I'm going to do is move my PCSX2 folder, cut, and let's see if it remembers where our games are. And it doesn't matter where you move it, it's now completely portable. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, but most importantly, have a good day.